Nityanandam Paramasukadam Kevalam Nyanamurtim Dwandwatitam Gagana Sadrusham Tatvamasya Dilakshyam Ekam Nityam Vimalamachalam Sarvadi Sakshi Bhutam Bhavatitam Triguna Rahitam Satgurum Tam Namami Nityanandam and welcome to a very special live satsang here from Kailash, which is Nityananda Pitam, Bengaluru Adinam. I think the entire Sangha already knows exactly what's happening here. But in case you've been hiding, you haven't been tuning in for the last few months, we are in the midst of a beautiful first time ever happening, which is the greatest happening, spiritual happening on planet Earth till now. And that is Sadashivatwa. Sadashivatwa is the first ever orientation program for Adi Navasis, in which a huge group of people, some of whom are completely new to Swamiji, just miraculously discovered him just in time to be here for this, have all decided simultaneously to live for the purpose of life, which is manifesting Sadashiva and helping others manifest Sadashiva. Sitting with me on the stage now is just a small group of the participants for this program. What makes this such a special program? Many of you may have tuned in in the past to see glimpses of my inner awakening. We're on the 21st day of inner awakening. Participants share about their breakthroughs, the shaktis of Sadashiva that they've manifested through Swamiji's direct initiation. Or maybe you've seen glimpses of my Nityananda Yogam, where participants of the Nityananda Yogam three-month program share what it's like to live closely with Swamiji for three months. But never before have we had a program that doesn't have an end date. Usually on the 21st day of Inner Awakening, there's a sweetness, but there's also a little bit of sadness because nobody really wants to leave Swamiji once they've been here. The same way with Nityananda Yogam. Once those three months have flown by, and definitely they do fly by, we don't know what happens to the time. Everyone feels such a huge gratitude for the experience of being here. But naturally, once you've been in Kailash, who would want to go back to Buloka? Who wants to go back to the worldly world? What makes this such a sweet happening for everyone is that every beautiful being who's here to attend Sadashivatwa understands that there's no such thing as an end to this 21-day program. They're manifesting shaktis, they're doing the yoga, they're learning the puja beautifully learning the full lifestyle of Kailash, manifesting Sadashiva within themselves, and experiencing the greatest gift anyone in existence can receive. Not just any human being, but any being of any kind. The ultimate is to live with Sadashiva himself and to know very clearly that he is giving us the experience of becoming Sadashiva. Every single person who has come, every single Adi Navasi who has come, I can no longer call them people or persons. Truly, they are the new species. They are superhumans already. The whole group are manifesting shaktis. Every being who has come has some miracle story of how they've come here, how they discovered Swamiji, how he happened in their lives, and what it's been like so far. So I'm not going to go on any longer. I'll just say one thing. Very soon, Swamiji will be joining us here on stage. So don't worry if you're seeing the Atma Murti in the background and you're thinking, where's Swamiji? Of course, he's always here. When we're in his home, we know that every inch of this space is Swamiji's own body. But even through the Satchala Murti, through the moving deity form, he will be coming shortly. So we'll all be ready and excited for that. 
And now I would like to invite those who are attending this great Sadashivatwa experiential training program, Becoming Adi Navasis, one by one to share their stories. Nityanandam. Nityanandam. I'm Dr. Aman. I'm a dermatologist and hair transplant surgeon. So like uh, I had my spiritual journey starting from childhood. I was with Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, Transcendental Meditation. Then when he passed the body, I went to Kriya Yoga. Uh, Kriya Yoga I learned. It was in Kriya Yoga and other yogas, a lot of meditation. You keep on doing the meditation. But from the childhood, I had a yearning. I used to watch the serials, read stories about yogis manifesting shaktis. So when siddhis, shaktis, so when I asked my uh, teachers, they said it takes a long, long, long practice, sometimes even births to attain the siddhis. So we were doing, but uh, nothing special happened to me. So then I, I started searching for living masters because I had had it in mind that a living master through Shakti path can give Siddhis. Masters who are not in this body won't be able to give the Siddhis or Shaktis. I went to different masters. I heard of Master Chua Koksai, but unfortunately I was late. He had already left the body. Suddenly, you know, I had this um, uh, thing, you know, why me, you know, why, why I should come when uh, the masters leave their bodies. Then uh, my search continued. I went to Bali, Indonesia with Ratu. I was with Ratu. Then I kept on searching, searching, searching for some... Basically what I was looking for was Siddhis and Shaktis. I wanted to manifest them. That was there in me, I don't know how. And then I stumbled upon a YouTube video. When I saw there, not Swamiji, but the disciples were showing which was mind-boggling. I could not believe my eyes what I was seeing on the YouTube videos. Then a question came, is this real? Does small children do this? Does disciples of Swamiji do this? Then, you know, like I was uh, going through the videos and suddenly, you know, I receive an email saying that Adinavasi program is open. In Chinese, there is a proverb, when the disciple is ready, the master appears. <laughs> First day at the Adhinam, I was very surprised, stunned to see what was happening on stage. Was it a magic? What, what, what exactly were they doing? You know, there was a lady and they were reading uh, the remote viewing. They were going to her home from here, mentally traveling to her home, telling her about all, all, up, all was there in her house, the sofa, the color of the sofa and this, uh, so many things. They were going in, they were doing a body scan which I was a doctor was surprising for me and they were doing accurate body scan and uh, then when we settled down when Swamiji gave any I could I could move the coconuts I, you know with science and all it is impossible and it was not one two but I moved around 12 or 13 coconuts within one minute and then the time kept on reducing within some seconds then came the remote viewing remote viewing I could get some intuitions there was a person sitting in front of me I could get some intuition that is how, uh, the door color is white there's a sofa inside it was an intuition coming into me I don't know how so what I said was correct then it came to body scan I, as a doctor, I've seen so many uh, live, uh, like ultrasounds and organs, but believe me, what I saw of my body was, was absolutely fantastic, you know, I could see my liver, that was a three dimension, it was very, very, very clear. So, you know, like what, what is happening here is amazing, just amazing. There's a one word for it is amazing. And we can do it. On top of it, we ourselves can do it. It is not somebody does it for you, you do it yourself. And you believe more when you do it for yourself. So last I realized that, uh, like when I went to masters who have passed, uh, they were not there in their bodies, maybe. I had, you know, nature had a plan, God had a plan to give me siddhis or shaktis directly from Avatara himself, Swamiji himself. <laughs> and
and anybody can come here, see it for himself. Not see it for himself, do it for himself. Thank you. Nityanandam. Nityanandam. My name is Waldemar from Germany. And uh, I just want to uh, share my experience here. You know, it is so amazing. There are no words for this, what here happens. And yeah, you know, at the fifth day, I think it was the fifth day, we get an initiation. And I am able to move a coconut. It is so crazy. <laughs> I don't believe that, you know. And uh, other thing is, for example, body scanning. That's also a, a, a superpower. Um, I was able to um, see by my body scanning partner like that he lost a teeth at the age of 12. I don't know wh where the information came, but I, it came there. So, and uh, other thing is I want to share, you know, here in Bidadi, that's my first time in the ashram, and we are so glad to be here because we see Swamichi like he sh shares 20 hours per day with us. And you can feel his vibration, his energy. It is so amazing. <laughs> so on the first edition we uh, had, I asked Somichi if he can, I wear here a gold ring, yeah. And I asked him if he can energize my gold ring, and he did it. And I can still feel the energy flows, yeah, through my body. And also, um, by the second uh, edition, this was yesterday, um, I asked him to heal my shoulder because it was broken and always when I done yoga it was uh, I feel something there's pain and he just touched it s uh, smoothly here and said it's completely healed and I go the, uh, through the steps here on the stage and the pain goes away it is amazing it is amazing really <laughs> so Come here to Kailash, join Swamichi, you have to be here. Thank you, Nityanandam. Nityanandam, I'm Maggie from Singapore. I attended the IA a few times, and you asked me the difference between IA and uh, Sadashiva Dua is that for IA, it's just like you are visiting the palace. After visiting the palace, you go. But living in coming to Sadashiva Dua is like living in a palace. How Imagine how would you like to live in a palace? <laughs> And uh, in fact, on the when uh, this offer was 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 when I heard of this offer, I just jumped in. I did not think, and because as what I always remember what Swamiji said, you think and you jump, you are not wrong also. But you think and you jump, you will never jump. You jump and you think you will definitely jump, and uh, the outcome was very good, very miraculously. And uh, when I jump. The thing is that everything Swamiji will take care of me. And uh, even um, when I come here, I got debts. But I don't know how. Somehow my debts have been slowly clearing. And that is one thing about this. And uh, another thing is that <coughs> on the third day of our, our co course here, Swamiji uh, let us meet with our lead and uh, Chalmerji did say you list down whatever thing you desire and you want we, I will give you so the next day we meet up again Chalmerji say okay whatever you request is granted and you will get approval within 48 hours so how good is that is that good or good so um, like us we are parents we are children of our parents how many times when we ask things from our parents and our parents grant us everything and it is within 40 24 hours to 48 hours so i encourage you all those who are still thinking don't think anymore just jump because you think you will never jump you jump and you think you will get <laughs> Uh, 
Nitian Adam. My name is Yanni Salvador Papazoglou. I come from Greece. I'm half Greek, half Mexican. Uh, I will straightforward talk about the powers. Um, it was uh, the day before yesterday that uh, Swamiji, actually, Mama Hayoga, we, have, we had the break, like eating snacks and coffee and all that, and said, okay, guys, come, uh, break is over, come, let's manifest powers. And I was like, okay, let's see. And uh, we sat and said that today we will not only manifest the length, we will manifest length, breadth, and depth, all three. And I was like, let's see, <laughs> it will be interesting. And uh, she said, okay, no talk, let's start manifesting. Like nothing, no explanation, no a story of the past, nothing, let's manifest. And uh, she well, basically she explained, like you put some on your third eye, we put in an answer and all of that. And I, we went in partners, like two, two, and uh, I was like really excited and little like, am I going to do this? I was wondering. So my partner, I proposed my partner in front to him to start first, because, you know, to take the courage. And he started and he moved the coconut. And now it was my time. And we, he put the coconut in his hand. At the moment I turned the Machia Vakia, I looked at the coconut and the coconut immediately fell. And I was like, did I do it? I don't know. <laughs> and then I told him, like, let's do this again immediately. Because I told him, did you feel anything? He said, sure, I felt it moved. And uh, I did, I did again, immediately fell. And I was like, all right, nice, two, two out of two. And then I went 10 out, uh, out of 12. So for me, it was, like, was a, a blast. And effortlessly, I thought that I had to try and connect and then feel the coconut moving the water inside. Nothing. I just stared at the coconut and I was feeling a like an extension of me, like somebody said, it's an extension. And it was falling. And uh, after that, we did the um, uh, body scanning, which I didn't exactly like found something, but something appeared. It was like an ultrasound in my third eye. It was like a gray, a black picture. And when you move, when you see the ultrasound, it moves. It kind of moves. Your organs inside move. And um, it was quite interesting for me because Mama Hayuga said, like when you read, when you try to read with your third eye, you may not see letters, you may see some of these eyes, you may see a face. And uh, so for me, it's like I saw something which was very interesting, very encouraging. And it's not, it was very, very vivid. And I, I was feeling the energy. It's like slight electricity in, for your, in front of your third eye. And with the remote viewing, that was me for was a success also. Uh, my partner started first, he saw about my house. And then I said, let's try. And again, I didn't quite expect, I expect like, to try 15 minutes and 20 minutes and sit straight like a yogi and try and all that. But what happened is just, I just saw through my head eye and immediately, like, like a flash, appeared um, the living room, a blue purple living room a very, very with very, very modern furniture. And I was like wondering, should I tell? But Ma Mama Hayuga said, just tell immediately. Don't think about it. And I said, and he confirmed like exactly, it's modern, very modern. The shape of the couch was exactly the same, the color, and also outside of the window, the trees and flowers. So for me, th this, I manifest actually th almost these uh, three powers, which I didn't expect. So that's it. Tiendo, en Peruanita, no madre le no entiende. No me sentó su marque, ¿qué van a decir? Sami va al redil. Sami ji va al redo, Sami ji irikra kaila es chutku, naanga van a decir que de no me sentó su marque. I know the family. I know the family. Le, naal fair vandu to. So, Swami yoda living Meenakshi, Meenakshi Sundareshwar. Our irukre adathile, naanga family yoda vandu irukre the. Namma sandosh marke. I'll just translate what she is telling. 
I'm Vanita from Madurai, and I'm so happy to be here in Kailasha. We have come here as a whole family, and it gives me immense pleasure to actually move into Kailasha, move into the place where Devi Meenakshi and Lord Sundareshwara, both of them are living in the same body. It gives us great pleasure to come and live there. Samaji, I was talking about the Sadashivam program. Super consciousness, super human. So, that's why we're talking about the Sadashivam program. Orang terpun, orang matra orang kudu tu, saya nak ke family ke, so sami bandu, anda super consciousness, super human bandu kudu par, abdi ente, nang elar bandu. Actually, sami ji shared in the satsang about the sadashivatwa program that he is going to raise the humanity to be human, to be super humans, and that particular what sami ji shared. It created a great shift in all of us, and we all want to be superhuman, so we just moved here as a family. So in the Sadashiva program, there are a lot of happiness. Sami, Samiji, there are a lot of people. Full day, whole day, there are a lot of people. The Shakti Nipada, there are a lot of people. So, morning yoga, evening breakfast, title, lunch, all of us, 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 all of us. We are very happy to be here in the Sadashivatwa program. Swamiji is literally spending the whole day with us and we get to be here. We see Swamiji during the breakfast. We get to spend time with all the Adinavasis, all the Gurukul students, all the Balasans. And I'm very, ha very, very happy for that. So, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, Aduh, anda, anda orang orang barat leh, nalar panah mudin jadi, orang moon moon second leh, anda tengah move panah mudin jadi. In just one week, in just one week into the program, just two days back, I actually was able to move the coconut, and I was so shocked that in just one week, I'm able to express this power, and she said that the coconut just moved in. It doesn't take a time at all. Within three seconds, the coconut just moved, and she was shocked to see that. The body scanning, uh, body scanning, uh, remote uh, vision. That's what they do. Some initiation good thing. Remote scanning la, or 80 percentage when the nala panna mudi jide. Sorupu Priyama or partner ay, angel or da rende. Or 80 percentage when the correcta angel, angel itu nala salam mudi jide. Ramah sangat bahagia. Wanda, satu hari, wanda, ibu lo, kekuatan, kami, kami jinama, kurang. Nih, ibu lo, nampak berapa orang. So, kami kurang. 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 Ibu lo, nampak berapa I was partnering up with Master Papriya and she told me to describe her house and I was able to do that and 80% I'm able to get all the details correct and I'm so happy that I'm able to uh, perform, express all these powers and this just happened in one week and I'm not able to cognize or imagine what will happen if I'm going to be, if I'm, when I'm staying here for the rest of my life. If just five days can make me express so much powers, the rest of my life that I'm staying here, I'm not even able to understand or cognize what all powers I'll be expressing and manifesting. So, satsang thala paakkarangu, yalla arukume vandhu, Swami Valar Kailashitku vandhu, nama super human aagunu, yalla arukume vandhu, nye vandhu life enjoy pannunga. Thank you, Nithyanandam. My name is Aigul Sidaliva. I came from New York. Uh, 
my background is accounting and IT. However, I was always interested in psychology. Lately, uh, for the last three years, I was more interested in neuroscience. I wanted to know the data, uh, how they gather data, and uh, how they do the, um, all the scientific uh, discoveries about the brain. Uh, finding, um, learning a lot about it, I still was uh, thinking, it looked broken pieces uh, of huge puzzle. However, um, through my friend, I learned about Swamiji, watching his about 10 videos, uh, he would be talking in a, like for me, it was in consolidated way about brain uh, advancement. Uh, he also was saying about um, kids, uh, Gurukul kids that can ca uh, perform uh, manifest uh, uh, different uh, powers. So I had to come and see it uh, last year in Varanasi. Um, when I arrived, I, I didn't have to see the, the manifesting powers. Once I looked at the sannyasis, at the Gurukul kids, I was sure that they can do everything <laughs> because how powerful they looked. Um, yes, for sure, I saw the manifested powers and I decided I want to be living in the pr Swamiji's presence. And the Adinavasi program came, I uh, immediately arrived here. <laughs> um, so being here, uh, we already have been initiated into powers and um, I've been uh, successfully with my partner um, manifesting uh, three powers. And I wasn't even surprised because I, was, I knew that Swamiji, he said it, he will do it <laughs> immediately with no hard work at all. It's just given, it's a gift. <laughs> Thank you. My name is uh, Mahina Thananda, the spiritual name given to me by Swamiji. I'm a company secretary, postgraduate in law, I come and a commerce graduate and a cost accountant. I'm born in Coimbatore. Lived in Tamil Nadu for 29 years before moving into Bangalore. So I did Inner Awakening in March 13. And uh, in October 14, I was diagnosed with an enlarged heart, where the ejection factor of their heart came down from 60% to 25%. And the doctors told me that clinically, we cannot heal you. You will exist throughout your life. But Swamiji healed me in May 16 at the Kumbha Mela, where I went for 21 days, and when I came back and did my test, the ejection factor had gone up from 25% back to 60%, back to 60%, percent, which is 100%, normal. <laughs> so I owe my life to Swamiji, and what better way to, to show my gratitude than to be in Adinivasi. Adinivasi, I was not really interested, but when I kept coming to the ashram, I used to come every week, I learned that you, your Swamiji is going to change us from humans to superhumans. And I decided I never want to be a human again. I want to be a superhuman. And and coming here, you only have to decide to have a yogic body through the normal yoga, malakamba, rope yoga, your power, power yoga, decide whatever you want to have, what kind of body you want, and the Vedic mind will obviously be coming from Swamiji. So together, it will be an explosion for you and for all the people around you. I'm basically a Sindhi, so I invite all the Sindhis worldwide to come over to Swamiji and live in the lap of Lord Shiva, Nityanandam. <laughs> Nityanandam, I am Dani, and I came to the Adinam about one month ago today, and I was here just waiting at the Welcome Center, wondering and praying what to do next. And then Sri Parashiva came up to me, and he was like, hey, you're Dani, you're on Sena. We are about to leave, so get your bag and get in the bus, and we're going on a trip. So I was like, okay, let's go, let's go right now. So I went and it was one of the most beautiful, life-changing and life-saving trips. In this trip, seven people, myself included, were in a vehicle and it, was ju it just rained and the brakes um, 
failed. So we got in a car crash and the car was totaled. And it was a very surreal experience, almost as if the car crash happened in slow motion. But the only thing that was in my mind at this time was just Swamiji, because there was nothing that any of us in the vehicle could do. But luckily, thank you Swamiji, all seven of our lives are here today in this Adinam, walking around and expressing and manifesting these amazing powers. And um, ever since this experience too, we realized as we were leaving the car that the Atma Murti, uh, which is an energized large picture of Swamiji, broke equally in seven pieces. So there were seven of us in the car that evening. And when we asked Swamiji uh, why it broke in seven pieces, he said that he had to save all seven of our lives by sacrificing the energy that was energized into the Atma Murti. <laughs> So when Swamiji says that he takes care of us, he truly takes the highest, 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 highest level of care with all of his disciples, all of his Adinavasis, all of his children here. He loves us so dearly. So if you are dreaming of a life of enchantment and wonder and wanting to join a large family that's ever expanding, then we all welcome you here to this Adinam. And you too, like me, my first day here, I started expressing shaktis, like rolling coconuts, and also third eye. I've been able to read blindfolded. And um, that was even before I was formally initiated. So come and be amazed every day of your life. And come and be blissful. Nityanandam. Nityanandam. I am Srinitya Egatmananda Gora Shivam, and you are Shiva. <laughs> now, whatever Atma Pramanas you hear from these beautiful Adinavasis today, you have to know that really. It is not magic, it is a science. And those are not miracles. In the space of oneness with Swamiji, it is all natural. I, o I also experience these uh, powers, but I really, what I really want you to experience is the state and the space of Sadashiva. It comes from integrity, authenticity, responsibility and enriching. By this you will become Nityananda, you will be in eternal bliss. Please come, experience this for yourself. If you do not believe, please come. These beautiful Adenavasis are living proof. There is no more to say. You only have to do now. It is truly a blessing for you to come and experience this ecstasy. Blessings. Thank you, Swamiji. Nityananda, my name is Travis. I'm from Los Angeles. And my life, I've been a seeker um, as the alchemist, you know, looking for these different symbols and omens to guide my path so that my life could be meaningful. And I've studied with different esoteric schools and meditated with different groups. Um, and, and yet, so much of the focus was on the Siddhi or all of the discipline these repetitious actions I needed to take in order to achieve just a little bit of growth. And I found that I only have so much discipline. You know, we only have so much that we can do on our own. And when I was introduced to Swamiji by one of my good friends, a doctor at UCLA, um, he said, you won't believe it, man. You just show up and celebrate, and Swamiji does the rest. And... Uh, <laughs> I can definitely tell you that's true. I was here for Inner Awakening, Inner Awakening in February and March, 
And Swamiji said that, that same message. And so I thought, okay, well, I'm just going to drop all of my old philosophies. They're just going to be dead snakes, like Swamiji says. Uh, I'm going to drop the mind and just show up and live with my heart and celebrate Swamiji. And one of the greatest uh, opportunities within the, the breathing space of Swamiji has been to celebrate him through dance, through the, the Nitya Kirtan. Um, all I can say is that I, I used to have a past as a dancer. I had an injury on in my shoulder. And so over the last three or four years since that injury, it feels like my physical state has just been kind of going downward, just a downward spiral. And um, so I stopped dancing, and that was such a, a source of joy for me, such a source of bliss. And then being in the presence of Swamiji, being able to dance with him, learning from the Guru Kul, um, some amazing dancers, it's just a different experience because it's an expression of gratitude for the grace of Swamiji. It's a celebration that there's an actual avatar on earth. And all I can say... <laughs> I can just say that even my, my injuries, they started, um, the pain started reducing. Every time I dance and celebrate Swamiji, I feel my body getting lighter and lighter. And I'm so grateful to be able to celebrate him um, and everything that we do here. There's so many positive ways to contribute um, here at the Adinam and around the world. And when I saw that vision after Inner Awakening, I thought, wow, I've been looking for a purpose-driven uh, purpose work. And this is something I don't feel there's any higher cause than to be a part of this amazing awakening to manifest these shaktis through the compassion, the power, and the grace of Swamiji. So I'm very grateful. Thank you, Swamiji. It's a blessing to be here. Nityanandam, everybody. Uh, my name is Manish. I'm a Gujarati person actually and uh, live half of my life in Gujarat, the first half and rest in USA. Uh, studied to be a commercial pilot. This is the first time I'm here or seeing Sam Swamiji personally face to face. But uh, it actually happened uh, about six, seven years ago when I graduated from my CPL commercial pilot license in the USA and was offered a job. And then I thought about it, what is the meaning of life? The real seeking started happening as I was already making enough money to live a good life. I had everything I needed. And then the real seeking started, what is the meaning of life? Do I just do this, just keep working, make more money and more money and die? <laughs> uh, so for two months it was intense seeking going on. And uh, really I tried looking outside much as I can, anything at all, but there were no answers at all. And um, one day I thought I, maybe meditation might be the answer, so I had decided before, I, my whole life I had worked at a hotel, hotel industry, that's what my parents owned in USA. So I had decided that after becoming a pilot I will never work at a hotel again, but I had to go work because I needed some money. I had to make money. So I went to work and uh, looked up on YouTube meditation. And uh, s of course, Swamiji's video showed up. And sorry to say this, Swamiji, but I laughed. I thought you looked funny. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure what generation this guy is from. But, uh, so I stopped the video. I paused it. But because of the suffering, I was aware, I realized that my mind, it, what it's doing is it's judging the person. If I didn't even take a second to hear what he has to say. And I stopped the video, it was ignorance. So I started playing the video back again and it just changed my life. I mean... <laughs> The videos were all recorded all before, it were, they were not live, but it was happening live, one-on-one. -on -one. I was asking a question, it was answered, it raised another question, next sentence was answered, every single sentence, it was just answers. And at that time he was teaching uh, 112 techniques of Shiva's meditation, and so I started practicing them. And it, Actually, I was a very party person, scientific person, and I, at that time I lived with some roommates, so I would lock my door and only sit for meditation when they weren't around so they don't make fun of me. 
But uh, after practicing, I got used to it and I was able to experience meditation. So I, that kept on going on. Since that time, I, I've, for the past two, three years, I, my life changed. I moved back to India. I decided I'd rather live in and settle in India. And I didn't really look at any videos or anything. The meditation kept on going on. The prayers kept on going on. And uh, before I came here, I was in Russia, actually. And my return ticket was for 16th of this month. And all of a sudden, I decided, all right, let's see what Swamiji has to say after all this time. And I looked down. And of course, he said, if you're looking at this video, it's time for you to be here. And my life experiences were good enough that I had no doubt. So I ended up changing my dates to 8th. And I didn't even go home. I came straight here. So. And uh, powers and shaktis, it's just bonus, you know. So just come. And um, you're, I know you guys are tired of, you know, looking out there, tired of partying the same way with same people. With, it's getting boring now, you know. So if you want to experience the ultimate party with Shiva and the cosmos, please be here. <laughs> Nityanandam. I'm Manoj Kumar. I'm a doctor. I'm from Madurai. I know Swamiji since 2010 and I have attended quite some of uh, his programs. And this program, this program is something different. And uh, I would like to say uh, I'm, a, I'm a kind of a person. I would enjoy Swamiji only through his uh, um, uh, speeches and uh, only through YouTubes and online. And uh, I love to do that than uh, being in person. But this program, uh, I really, I really had uh, the really had the feeling connection uh, when I uh, got, got near to the Swamiji, and while the initiation happened, and that uh, that was amazing. Uh, my entire uh, body alignment has changed. I can feel that when I got an initiation from Swamiji. The very first uh, thing happened. Uh, here in uh, in this program, and um, the other thing I would to share is uh, whenever Swamiji sp Swamiji speaks about uh, the Sanatana Hindu Dharma, uh, the, the the our ancestors, um, the effort they put, uh, the struggle they put uh, to to uh, hold this Dharma and the future and the future of Sanatana Hindu Dharma and the future of humanity, I literally feel literally feel the vibrations in my Ananda Ganda Chakra whenever Swamiji says that. And, and I'm really excited when Swamiji said uh, about his suitcase, uh, he brought uh, that uh, uh, the, these powers are the only the initial things and there is a lot more to come. I'm really excited that uh, hearing that and more than power, something he has to offer to our uh, humanity and bring us to uh, the super consciousness uh, breakthrough, and uh, and uh, um, I was really I was really worried. I would uh, still I couldn't uh, make it to Bidhi um, uh, since I have been known Swamiji for seven years. And when Swamiji said the real Sangha's work starts now, and I am really convinced. And thank you, thank you, Swamiji, for letting me in at the right time. Right, please. Thank you. Nithyananda. Nithyananda. My name is Dwayne from New York. Uh, before I initially start, I want to welcome everyone around the world who's viewing. And most of all, welcome my new family in Kailash. So um, when I came into this life, I've always been experiencing weird phenomenons and uh, throughout my life. And once the once the shift happened of 12, 12, 12, that's when I really started uh, waking up, and I just became a sponge. I just started soaking up all this information about um, chakras and and things that we can do with our own energy. 
Um, I knew Swamiji for a few months now. Uh, I would say a month last year, and then it kind of branched off, and then it really came really strong a few months ago. And I would spend my days watching five, ten videos a day, and um, I really enjoyed the hours ones because it gave me more time to do something rather than wasting my time doing things in the Mayan matrix. Honestly, I was the kid who came home every day and played video games from high school, and now I know the reason why I used to stay up from Friday all the way to Sunday. Here, you barely even need any sleep. I sleep for like a couple hours and I'm perfectly fine, functional the whole entire day. Um, I really worked tirelessly to get here. Um, there was times when I was working like three, four days straight and the only rest I ever had was when I was heading on a train, heading to my next job. I wasn't going to allow this opportunity to pass by me. No matter what obstacle came, I trusted Swami G that he would take care of those obstacles because of my commitment of becoming an Adi Navasi. And for everyone out there who is still in the Mayan matrix, I would suggest to really look at your reasons of why you are still there, because really there is no other best place to be than here in Kailash. Thank you. Uh, Nityanandam, everybody. My name is Sri Nitya Dridananda. Nityananda, my name is Prasida. And uh, if any of you watched yesterday's satsang, uh, Swamiji had mentioned that, I think he said, one of the biggest delusions is falling in love with somebody at first sight. And I fell in love with Prasida at first sight. <laughs> and, then, and then after that he goes, and the biggest, like, I think it was like biggest, or the worst thing is you marry that person. And I'm like, I, I just married Priscilla. <laughs> so yesterday he's saying this year in Satsuna, I'm like, oh, so what was I thinking? <laughs> oh, but in all honesty, uh, Swamiji talks a lot about, uh, he does support marriages and, you know, he jokes about it quite a bit. And if you have thick skin, uh, like we do, then you're going to be okay, I guess. And <laughs> <laughs> but uh, our, we had a really interesting story, and you know, we had met uh, a few years ago, and uh, it just felt like there was this deep connection. And uh, you want to talk about it? Yeah. So basically, we met at in May of 2015 at my first IA, um, and nothing happened, but we just like loved being around each other and. Um, from then, like, we had a really strong connection. Um, but our journey getting here as Adi Navasis, I think, is just what we wanted to share because it was just such a miraculous story. And I still really can't believe that it's our story and it's real and we're a part of it. Um, Swamiji is just showers us so much. I can't even fathom it. And basically everything, the ball kind of got rolling, I guess, this last Jan or end of December, January. Only like three, four months ago now? Yeah. You want to start? <laughs> uh, well, I had been going back and forth for some time on whether, uh, what I wanted to do with my life. And uh, I had this desire to be with her. And, and I knew that there's a serious possibility that that would you know, uh, interrupt my spiritual path. And so one day I went and had an Akashic reading here at the Dinam. And I said, uh, is my desire to be with Prasida uh, affecting my spiritual growth? Like, is it affecting me negatively? And the Balasant that did the reading looked away and then looked back and said, go and meditate at Dakshinamurti's feet and you'll find your answer. And so I started to walk towards Dakshinamurti's feet, which is where the banyan tree was. And uh, on my way up there, uh, I get to the banyan tree and there's nobody else around except for I see these one set of feet at, uh, at, at the tree. And I started walking around, and all of a sudden I saw that it was Prasida. And she was sitting there, and she, her eyes were just like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and she didn't know at the time, but I was sent there and to 
m meditate on what I should be doing <laughs> as far as our relationship goes. And so. Yeah, and from my side of things, I had just been in the Akashic reading, but I didn't see him there. Um, and I didn't even know where he was that day. And I had gone up to the tree because in my reading, I was told to go to the tree and meditate with Dakshinamurti in the same words. <laughs> <laughs> and so I made my way there. I almost didn't go because it was lunchtime and I was like, oh man, it's my only time to eat. But then I was like, no, no, I got to listen and go straight away. Like listen to Kalabayrava exactly as he says. So I turned around and I went up to the tree and I just sat down and I thought, no, wow, this is so cool. Nobody's up here. Usually, you know, a lot of people are there meditating. And, uh, and then Dritta popped up and I was just like, whoa, what are you doing here? I thought somebody must have told him I was up there and he came looking for me or something, like he needed to give me a message. And he was, he was like, no, I got an Akasha greeting and they it told me to come here. And I was like, what? So did I. <laughs> so fast forward uh, get, uh, a, a massive amount of time, what was two months later or so, uh, we got a message. Uh, we were, so we had spent some time together after that and uh, but we eventually received a message back when we were in North America, and it was uh, from Swamiji. And he had said to Prasida's brother to pass on a message to us. And it was, if Dritta and Prasida are serious about their intention to be together, then tell them to get married, come and join Sena, and become a Dinavasis. <laughs> And, and so, like a lot of things that have happened in both of our spiritual paths, saying yes to Swamiji continuously has been uh, the cornerstone of our growth, I would say. And, you know, whether it was jatas or, uh, you know, coming to uh, IAs when he's calling you or taking yogam and uh, doing workshops, everything. And uh, ultimately, it's led us down a beautiful path. And, uh, and so, at this point, it, it just seemed like such a, a divine blessing, uh, perfect for us both. And, and so we looked at each other and we're like, I I'd do it, you know? <laughs> uh, it, it was really more like a, it was, you know, we just felt called to be with him. It wasn't about being with one another. It was beyond that. It was something so much more. And to be with Swamiji is, you know, the reason why we are together. And to, to have that experience with Prasidda has been amazing. And uh, you know, I, I can't say enough about being here in general, being an, an Adina Vasi and getting to spend every day with the people that are here in front of me and allowing us to be family members with them is all Swamiji's doing. And I know what it's like being on the inside of the matrix. I always come to India to the Adina and go back out and it's like so many others here too and, and Prasida as well. It's a difficult place to live, to be on that spiritual path. And, and to be here, it's this, this perfect womb to allow yourself to grow and, and live the four tattvas and radiate Swan, Swamiji's energy. And the, the way I look at it is really there's, there's two different types of people in this world. And uh, so I, I have a lot of friends in the Sangha. We call ourselves spiritual bros. And uh, so I have a bunch of them that back in North America. And I'm going to call one of them out specifically right now. So there's two different types of people in this world. One is the people that are here that have listened to Swamiji's calling and said yes, and I'll take that jump and I'll go. And there's another type of person. I'm going to call him a Sahadeva. <laughs> a Sahadeva is somebody that, you know, wants to earn money and, you know, have a business and, and uh, get nice cars and, you know, live in the matrix and live wealthy and, you know, isn't quite sure about what they want to do with their future. And Asaha Deva might be really connected to Swamiji and love him and want to be around him. But ultimately, right now they're saying no. But all of us here are telling you, oh my goodness, this is such a divine blessing. We get to spend so much time with Swamiji. I've done IAs. I've done yogams. I've never spent this much time with Swamiji and in the presence of so many divine beings. And we're developing an amazing city amazing community to spread and enrich the entire world and we want as many Sahadevas as possible to join <laughs> us along this mission so 
if you are a Sahadeva out there and you aren't quite sure about what you want to do and you fear taking that jump, we're all here telling you Swamiji is here to enrich us and radiate through us. And it's such a blissful way of being. Thank you guys so much. And <clears throat> yeah, it's just, we, we really can't emphasize enough how much Swamiji just fulfills everything that you need and everything that you want. Like he, he knows and he supports you and, and only gives you the highest and best th and more than you can even design for yourself, which I think we've definitely experienced. So thank, thank you guys and get here immediately as fast as you can. <laughs> and thank you Swamiji so much. Nityanandeshwar Sada Shiva Samaramba Nityanandeshwariyadi Shakti Madhyama Asmadacharya Varyanta Vande Guru Parampara I welcome all of you with my love and respects. I welcome all the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis, Sri Mahans, Mahans, Sarvanya Pita Yajamans, and Adi Navasis and Sadashivatva participants. I welcome all of you with my love and respects. I'll define authenticity. Listen carefully. Manifesting powerful cognitions is authenticity. I'll give you an example. You can manifest a cognition. Oh, in the seven billion people, only these few hundred are able to make it to Sadashivatva. If I physically made it, I am going to make it. You can manifest this powerful cognition. Eh? If I physically make it, I am going to make it. Or you can say, I am not even able to come to morning yoga three minutes late. I am not even able to come to this integrity. How will I manifest powers? You can manifest that cognition also. Manifesting powerless cognitions is inauthenticity. Manifesting constantly powerful cognitions is authenticity. You can say, if my third eye is open, if I am able to roll coconut, I can roll any matter, I can move any matter, means my third eye is open. How did it get open? By connecting it to the universal third eye of Sadashiva. If I am connected to universal third eye of Sadashiva, then this whole universe, the whole matter is under me. From where you are, you can either go on making powerful chain, powerful links, and manifest powerful cognitions, or go on making weak links, weak chain and powerless cognitions. Human being is a possibility to travel in both directions. If you are going to go on manifesting powerless cognitions every day, you practice inauthenticity. If you go on manifesting powerful cognitions every day, you manifest authenticity. That's all. Authenticity redefined. Understand? Practicing authenticity means 
manifesting powerful cognitions matter is moving just by the power means i am connected to cosmic third eye if i am connected to cosmic third eye not just coconut i can roll planets why only coconuts i can roll planets because it is from the cosmic third eye the whole universe is generated going on manifesting powerful cognitions and playing with it is what i call authenticity hey among the 7 billion only few hundred are chosen to be the pioneers of power manifestation super conscious breakthrough if i am part of that one then naturally cosmos cannot waste its resources if i am not going to be successful i will not be chosen if i am chosen to be in this hall i have been chosen to make it going on manifesting powerful cognitions is authenticity going on manifesting powerless cognitions is in authenticity are morning itself i missed two minutes integrity and now this is paining that is paining i don't know how many hours i am going to sit and i cannot even talk to my wife for three minutes what powerfulness i am going to manifest you can manifest this cognition no one can stop it going on manifesting powerless cognitions is in authenticity going on manifesting powerful cognitions is authenticity you are the juncture possibility for both that is why you are man you are juncture mahadeva and animal man you can go on be manifesting the powerful cognitions yam side mahadeva side manifesting authenticity you can go on be manifesting a an animal side powerless cognitions and become inauthentic man means mahadeva and animal juncture of yam and an understand now whether m takes over the a and becomes mahadeva or n takes over the a and becomes animal is up to you there is m mahadeva there is n animal there is a in between which component is going to take over more percentage which component is going to take over more percentage you have a possibility yes any one can manifest powerless cognition you have a possibility any one can manifest powerful cognition any one can manifest powerless cognition just one second before enlightenment also you can manifest powerless cognitions and roll back to the square zero or you can manifest powerful cognitions even from the square zero and reach time square it is not accident we are already up out in the time square i do not know how many of you know understand the day you manifested powers the software of sadashivatva is successful man becoming sadashiva the software is successful humanity had breakthrough 
that is why you are already up your success our success is already in the times square the whole times square is celebrating our success i don't know how many of you know it it is not accident it is real it's not paid advertisement just like that one of our devotee mega sharma went to a shop and gave and immediately they displayed the whole times square congratulated all of you guys of course all of us so understand i can now manifest powerful cognitions saying not by coincident or accident properly planned time square itself is celebrating this whole success of the sadashivatva software i can either manifest that powerful cognition or i can say other so oh, still even restrooms are not yet ready laundry machine is not working how am i going to make the whole humanity follow and make this whole power manifestation as a lifestyle anyhow i am not going to do this i am not looking at restrooms i am looking at times square <laughs> manifesting constantly powerful cognitions is authenticity understand manifesting powerless cognitions is in authenticity uttare datmanatmanam atmanam avasadayet raise yourself by yourself if you raise yourself by yourself you are your best friend if not you are your worst enemy now you can see the times square celebrating congratulating swami ji and adinavasis it's real it's real it's real so it is up to you now whether to manifest powerful cognitions and push your life towards authenticity i am not going to give you other option <laughs> i am not going to give you other option so let's get ready to manifest powerful cognitions today today is all about authenticity what is practicing authenticity finding out inner image outer image others image life image and aligning it to the best and manifesting the best that's all is manifesting powerful cognitions let's get ready for authenticity sessions today authenticity process today to manifest powerful cognitions today so with this let's gather for next session all the participants devotees who came for satsang morning satsang my blessings i bless you all let's all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching causing living shuddhatvaita saivam sada shivoham the eternal bliss Nityananda thank you be blissful